It's the Supreme Court Show with Judge Joe Brown. Today, it's a case of who dropped the balls. Plaintiff Bill Simmons believed Tom Brady's four-game suspension never should have happened, and the NFL tainted the legacy of the greatest quarterback of all time. Defendant Michael Rappaport says Bill is full of crap. Tom cheated, the penalties are justified, and it's time to get over it. And now, it's Joe time. The court is in session. Judge. Mr. Rappaport, what's your position in support of the NFL and the commissioner? On January 18, 2015, during the AFC Championship game, Dequell Jackson, great name, by the way, intercepted a ball thrown by Tom Brady. He handed it over to the officials, and the officials then checked all 12 of the Patriots' balls. All 12 balls were deflated. So why are they getting different results? Uh, two referees, two results on the same balls. Uh, Judge, I ain't no scientist. Your Honor, the science they used was so primitive and so inexact that the two gauges they used were actually different gauges, so they gave different results. But they don't factor in the ideal gas law, Your Honor. They just assume the Patriots deflated it. They don't assume that it's cold and the balls deflate. So, okay. What benefit would Mr. Brady get off of either an underinflated ball or an overinflated it's, ball? It's a great question, Your Honor. And there was a game about a year earlier when the balls were just too overinflated. And he actually yelled at two of the ball boys. He was like, these balls are like rocks. I can't throw them. Boom. I think from that point, he, they, were, they were like He probably, can't throw them. It's hard to throw a rock. Wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to talk about these uh, text messages. They're salacious, Your Honor. Can you see that they get the Madam Bailiff mm -hmm. to make sure we're on the same page? How you doing, sweetheart? I nice think we you. all have those. What about these? McNally and Yastrzemski, a former Red Sox player. I'm no expert. Carl Yastrzemski may or may not be related to this gentleman. Not true, Your Honor. Okay, just checking. But these people are all Boston people. Boston is filled with many, many legions of Tom Brady fans who also happen to be angry white people without lips. Again, I have no idea if this has anything to do with this case. I'm just letting you know that that's who we're dealing with here. This is evidence that these two guys were conspiring and working within cahoots with Tom Brady to make the balls to his liking. Yastrzemski said, talk to him last night, Tom. He actually brought you up and said, you must have a lot of stress trying to get them done. It doesn't mean Tom Brady deflated anything or told them. He just didn't want the balls to be overinflated. That To me, this doesn't prove anything. This gentleman calls himself the deflator. All Tom Brady has ever done his entire career has been classy. He's represented himself classy. the best way. All he Mr. does- Mr. Simmons keeps referring to Tom Brady as classy. Well, I don't see anything that says he's not. What kind of a grown man shows up to a press conference wearing a fucking pom-pom hat, Your Honor? Is that classy? We're in here. Mr. Rappaport, do you get the implication that the quarterback was in on this? At one point, Tom Brady met with McNally and Yastrzemski in person on a dock somewhere in South Aye, Boston. There's not an idiot about Objection. it. Now. It looked like a scene out of The Sopranos, Your Honor. That's all I'm saying. Objection, that, Your it's Honor. an overall Objection, conspiracy. Does that imply yeah. that in this? It has to do with OJ, I don't know what he's the Bronco, about. Al Cowlings, the blood on the wait, floor. Wait, 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 wait. What's that got to do with what we're talking about here? He played Nothing football also. Here. Nothing, Your Honor. Where in this does it implicate the quarterback, Mr. Brady? Is your terrible case done yet? No, he's Time out of order. That way. You're out of order. This no, whole court's come out of order. On. It was leaked to ESPN that 11 of the 12 balls were significantly deflated. I should mention that Mr. Rappaport goes on ESPN quite a bit. Oh! Quite a bit. Oh, 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 boom. He's been on. If Mr. Brady had any kinky photographs, AKA some dick pics, or anything like that, if, the, if Mr. Brady had any photographs of him unfolding the loaf, he could have deleted that beforehand. Your Honor, if you look at the cooling for the PSI, so the footballs are supposed to be between 12.0 and 13.0 PSI, which is like tiny pounds. I wanted to show this to Mr. Simmons. Watch his lip quiver when he looks at this picture. Watch it. Watch the lip quiver. Watch the lip quiver. He was afraid to give up his phone because he didn't want the NFL to leak anything from it. And then the NFL leaked that he wouldn't give up his phone and that he broke his phone. That was, they proved his point. Okay, okay. It's time for closing arguments. Your Honor, this was a smear campaign from day one. 
why are you trying to embarrass one of the best players that you've ever had in the last 50 years unless you're trying to push people off the scent of other problems with your league? Concussions, mm -hmm. CTE, the Ray Rice incident, the problem of Goodell as a commissioner in general. It sure seemed like Deflategate pushed a lot of that stuff off the docket and got people just talking about Tom Brady and Deflategate and broken phones and all this stuff. I think this was a conspiracy from start to finish. I do not believe the league, and I think they should let Tom Brady play. Thank you. Mr. Rappaport. This gentleman has some sort of erotic affection towards Mr. Brady. I understand that, okay? I've been down that road myself. Mr. Rappaport, focus, focus. If you can't do the time, don't do the crime. Don't do it. He did the crime. He's wasted our time. If you don't care, why are you fucking with the air? I rest my case. I mean, do you even need to hear more? If you destroyed a phone, you didn't act alone. I'm not impressed. Uh, Mr. Simmons, I think you've proven your case on behalf of the players and quarterback Brady and the team. So he's going to get the ruling. This is a goddamn conspiracy. The victor is going to get the benefit of an Thank apology uh, that is to be read into the record by the losing party. This is what I'd like you to read. Bullshit, man. Read it. I'd like to forgive the New England Patriots organization as well as Tom Brady, who should be universally known as the greatest quarterback ever. My opinion was clouded due to the fact that New York has become inferior to Boston, except for when New York beat the shit That's not part the of the Patriots statement, Your Honor. in the Super Bowl That's not part and of ripped their hearts out. Can you ask Can you ask Mr. And because Rappaport. Boston Mr. is now... Rappaport. Yes, Can you read sorry. Like you lost. Because Boston is now the city of champions. We as New Yorkers have become mm. second-class citizens. Also, New York pizza really isn't that good. What the hell does that have to do with anything? That ain't true, Your Honor. Your Honor. This is it's bullshit, dead. Your Honor. Derek Jeter was vastly overrated, and we all have small penises. Finally, my deepest apologies for the movie Deep Blue Sea. Fuck me, Michael Rappaport. <laughs> this is bullshit, Your Honor. You agreed to read it if you lost. What the hell's going on These here? These proceedings are closed. <laughs>